In this short video, we will be going over the basics of flashing a BIOS to your mod chip or TSOPT Xbox that is LBA48 enabled. This is important for using hard drives that are greater in capacity than 137 gigabytes. The first thing we need to pay attention to is the Xbox version. When you first boot the Hexen 2018 disc, you will be greeted by this screen. Your Xbox version is located in the top right corner. As you can see, for this Xbox, it is a version 1.0. From here, we will be going to the TSOP flashed chipped Xbox tools menu. We will be selecting non win bond for the majority of Xboxes, and we will launch the Evo X launcher. Wind bond TSOPs refer to a specific manufacturer of uh, the TSOP chip that stores the BIOS that requires the subsequent menu to be used. You can tell based by this logo here if you have a wind bond TSOP by looking at your motherboard. From inside the Evo X BIOS launcher, we will be selecting the 256 kilobyte BIOS for version 1.0 through 1.5. The recommended BIOS is the Evo X M8 Plus F and G. The F and G demarcation is particularly important because this is what denotes this BIOS as being LBA48 enabled. So, for example, if you have a BIOS that is flashed with the F only type BIOS moniker and you place, let's say, a pre-built 2 terabyte hard drive into that Xbox, the BIOS will not be able to recognize the additional partitions that are on there that you typically house your games and emulators on. The F and G partitions will appear empty to the file structure because the LBA48 is not supported. One of the main things to remember for this whole process is bigger is not always better. A 512 kilobyte BIOS is not better than a 256 kilobyte BIOS. Additionally, the later versions of Hexen carry a lot of imperfections and problems that the 2018 version does not. For example, a lot of the BIOSes that are included on Hexen 2019, 2020, and even 2021 are pre-configured incorrectly, which is why I strongly recommend that you only use the Hexen release of 2018.